Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today it's all about my summer favorites. I can't believe how many I have, so I've had to narrow them down, but I also didn't realize how many products I've actually switched out from spring into summer. Uh, so I know it's already coming up on August, so I'm a little late on this bandwagon, but still, all these products are great and you can definitely transition them into fall. I have products from kind of all over the place in my house, whether it's from makeup or from the kitchen or my favorite living room products. I've got them all here, I've got you covered. Even my favorite book that I've already read and you have to read it, it's so great. So I'll start with Home. This candle from Anthropology is heaven in a jar. It is Coastal Capri, it's from their Aloha collection. Um, these candles are amazing. They honestly last forever. They smell expensive, because you know, don't get me wrong, I love me a Bath & Body Works candle, but some of them smell pretty cheap, and that's why they smell so strong, because of that. These are just beautiful, and yes, they're a little pricey, $26, but they last forever. The one right behind me is the Amber Scent, that's also from Anthropology. I bought three of those. I go through them because there's always a candle lit in my place, always. But you put it in one room, it smells your whole entire house up, so it's definitely worth the $26. Next, I'll go into my favorite movie. Now, it's not out in theaters, it's, it was a couple of years ago, but anyone who knows me, I am a huge Alfred Hitchcock fan. Like, borderline stalkerish if he was still alive. I just love all of his movies. Um, and also, I love this film they did on him, but with Anthony Hopkins playing Alfred Hitchcock. This was um, with Helen Mirren as his wife, and it's during the time that he created Psycho, the filming of Psycho. So you have Scarlett Johansson, you have Tony Collette, Jessica Biel. This movie is funny, it's witty, it's charming, and it's everything you want from a movie like this, and it goes by so fast, so you're constantly like, <gasps> Just loving it. I don't know how to explain it other than you have to watch it. I own it. I own every single Alfred Hitchcock movie. Like I said, borderline stalkerish. Borderline not okay. Now let's go into makeup, shall we? So it's very humid here in South Carolina. I honestly don't know how my hair is still curled right now, but it is. Um, I'll go into what I wear on a daily basis for foundation when it comes to work and that is the Full Coverage Silk Cream Foundation from Laura Mercier. This is amazing. Why do I like it? Well, they have such a wide variety of shades to match your skin tone. Mine is Cashew Beige, but I like this because it's luminous, but it's full coverage and it's matte. You only need literally a quarter of a dime size, like nothing, just like, two little dots, it's so concentrated. And that's what I like about it, is that you don't have to use a lot of product because you know in the summertime it's sticky, you don't want to feel all that. But I put this on my face with a brush and then what I do, especially with humidity, I take a damp beauty blender and I will just go over it once I already like buffed it into my face, I'll go over with a damp beauty blender and it'll pick up all the excess foundation so it's not just sitting on my face when it's so humid outside. Um, when I'm not wearing makeup and I'm just kind of out and about or going to a workout, I still like to have that dewy, fresh look. And I don't really like to wear a lot of foundation on my day off, but if I do, it is the Josie Maron Argon Oil, um, just like an everyday SPF tinted moisturizer. It's really great. Um, but this is by Pixie and it's called Glotion Day Dew. It is really dirty bottle because it's been in the bottom of my bag. There it is. So it's kind of like Becca's backlight primer, but it's not. Um, it's not a primer. So this goes on um, underneath your foundation or just like as a foundation kind of a thing where you just want glowy skin, but you don't actually want to wear makeup. So you just like like a white little pump or a white lotion, and it's just iridescent like that. But it doesn't leave your skin like a paler color, you know what I'm saying? Because some of these you feel like, well, I want I want it to glow, but I don't want to look like a shade lighter. But it won't do that. So Pixie, you can get this at Target. I love it. And it's inexpensive too. And speaking of Pixie, 
this toner that they have is bomb. My sister told me about it. It comes in just like, well, decent amount. Um, but I think it was like $7. And same with this, I think it was like nine. Um, but it has 5% glycolic acid. I talked about it in another tutorial. I think it was my skin routine. I like this because it doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it does have a little glycolic, so you're definitely still getting um, that removal of bacteria and also making sure those like blackheads and everything get taken out with the glycolic acid. But I love it. You can get this at Target as well. Pretty easy. Next I have, I'll go along with skincare again, Josie Marin, I just talked about her tinted um, moisturizing foundation that I use on my days off if I want to have a little bit of coverage. But at nighttime, mixing in with my uh, moisturizer before I go to bed, I like to put in this ultra lightweight moisturizing oil. This is the light one though. So this is Josie Marin Light Oil. This is pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie. It's $44. It goes such a long way. This is a big bottle and you only need one drop, just one drop. And it's, this is the light one again, so you're not getting super oily. I just love Josie Marin products. She makes high quality products and you get what you're paying for. So I mix that in with my tinted, or with my um, moisturizer at night. Uh, but sometimes I even wear it on my days off and it definitely leaves my skin feeling so hydrated and it looks so hydrated. Um, next for two more makeup things. Okay, like I said, I work in the news, I wake up really early, I'm doing my makeup at 2.45 in the morning. I am literally rushing. Like I've got my makeup routine down to like six minutes and I feel pretty good like a full face of makeup. But something that has saved me so much time, so much time, is this Benefit, what is this? Like a push-up liner, that's what, they, that's what they're calling it. Their real push-up liner, and it's in black. So it has the perfect angled tip, and it's like a roll click. So you just roll it, and you click it, and the product then comes out on this pen. So you don't even need a brush, and it leaves literally the perfect line. I didn't put so much on it, but it's angled so you can get the perfect wing liner and it saves me so much time because I'm not there like dipping it in the little pink pot, I'm like going like this and dipping it again again and ah oh, crap, I messed up. You literally could have a shaky hand and it still leaves like a straight line. It's unbelievable, it's really great. And it stays on all day, all day. Um, my favorite lip gloss that I'm wearing, um, I'm actually wearing it right now, but this lip gloss is like $7. It's from CoverGirl. And it's a little iridescent. Yes, my sister's like, um, that's for Barbie or a 13 year old. But if you put it over a darker lip color, uh, like Viva Glam or something, it's not as poppy or, you know, I'm 13, teen bop. This one is called, I'm trying to find the name. Colorlicious Candy Licious. So these are, these are the Colorlicious uh, lip glosses, and they're so buttery and creamy. And this is called Candy Licious. That's it. So it's just a little bubble gummy, but it doesn't. It's not really full coverage in a lip gloss. It's very iridescent, and that's why I like it. I know I'm a child at heart. Okay. Okay. Moving on. My perfume of the summer. As you can see, I've used a lot of it, but this is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I've already purchased another one, so like, I'm getting ready for it to happen again. I'm getting, I'm getting, you know what? Let, let's just spray a little right now. Hmm. It's so light and natural and easy and refreshing, and it smells like clean and I like that but not like laundry detergent clean just fresh that is like the best word to describe it it's like beachy and fresh this smells good on everyone by the way so I'm just recommending that um moving on to ooh, my favorite book right now I've already read it I hope I didn't just talk about this because I can't remember what I've already talked about I've already read this book but everyone should read it it's hilarious and it is the Andy Cohen diaries I'm a huge Bravo fan, so I love me a Real Housewives show, but Andy Cohen's uh, show is also so great. You know, the live show after all the Bravo shows. 
This book is a basically a complete year in Andy Cohen's life and it's a diary. So it's not even really written in like chapters, it's written in like July 14th, I did this. But his commentary on his daily life and the people who've come into it and his dating life and everything, it's hysterical. And you read this, I mean, God, I think I read this in like two weeks and it's over 300 pages. It's a good book. It's definitely a summertime book where you're out on the beach or by the pool and you'll finish it right away. Or if you're traveling a lot, such a great travel book because you never want to put it down. So the hours on the airplane go by so fast. Okay, next one, I have two left, two left. Okay, this is in the kitchen, but I have to just tell everyone about it because I'm obsessed with this. It is the Trader Joe's Asian style spicy peanut vinaigrette. Now, I don't necessarily use this with salad as a vinaigrette, but I definitely use this over like chicken that I'm sauteing or um, it can be used as like a stir fry sauce. It's so good and it's not like heavy or sugary because I don't like that. It's like lightweight because it is a vinaigrette and has a little kick to it. And if you like peanut sauce, you're gonna love this. I just had to give a shout out to Trader Joe's because everyone knows I'm like a Trader Joe girl. Last but not least, since this video is going on like, what, 11 minutes already? Okay, I talked about these in my skin video, but they honestly work. Like I have to rem like just let everyone know again because they honestly work. They are the Skin Acumax, Skin Acumax Vitamins and Nutrients Supplement. You get 60 capsules and two little packages. It looks like this. You can buy them on Amazon. Now, this is a part of the Jane Iredell Mineral Cosmetics, but she does not make these herself. It's not hers uh, that she has designed in a lab. She actually sponsors these, but makes them in her lab. She just doesn't, um, she didn't come up with it herself. These are actually out of the United Kingdom. But what makes them so amazing is that they're all natural. You take two in the morning, two at night with your meal, and they're supposed to clear your skin up in the best way possible, and they totally have. Now, you can't be pregnant and um, take these, and there's a couple other guidelines that you can't be. You have to be over the age of 16 or something, but they're, they are all natural. I bought them at my esthetician. Amazing, and I've done them now for three weeks, and it's supposed to take three months, but like my skin has completely seen a difference, so. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about this, and this is my final product, I promise you, and I'll send you on your way. These little hair ties, they come in like way shorter. They come like this, and they come in a packet of three. You can buy them at Sephora, so if you've seen them, you're like, what is that? They're the new hair ties, and basically, they don't leave a mark in your hair. Like, they don't leave a dent or a bend, I guess. Um, and they don't pull out your hair or anything. They're great for working out. They stay where they're supposed to stay. Um, yeah, and you don't feel like your hair is being like yanked, you know what I mean? Or when you like tighten your pony, you're not breaking the ends off. Great little thing, Sephora. Thanks Alex, my sister, for telling me about those. Um, I keep them like literally my purse, my work, my car, everything. These are great little hair ties. Oh, and if you're wondering about my necklace, I actually got this at Nordstrom's and I love it. It was only like $25, so you have to go to Nordstrom's and pick it up. They had so many of them, but I love this. I wear it with white t-shirts, black t-shirts. I have like a pink shirt I wore with it. So simple, so easy. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and definitely pick up some of these products. I swear you won't be unhappy with any of them. They're so great. But I'll see you guys, um, yeah, next time. Have a great day.